are about to learn to say no when you need to so that you can say yes to those things that carry the most important outcome in your life. Now, this is part of a pillar called the mastery of time, which is a pillar of my satisfied working mother method that's all about helping you learn the time and the energy leaks that are costing you your bigger goals, keeping you stuck, making you feel frazzled and creating burnout so that you can sync with your innate feminine energy cycle and show up as the creative contributor, woman, mom, that everyone loves, including you. And it's incredibly important because what most frazzled working super moms do is overcommit and under deliver. They agree to do things either out of obligation, guilt, or simply not considering the circumstances that they're in. So they feel like they'll, they deliver substandard results on almost everything because they are spread too thin. And that may be exactly what you're doing right now, but this video will fix that. So you can go from the frazzled working super mom to the working satisfied super mom. So let's begin. First off, when you're planning out your week, be it Sunday or whatever day that you make time to plan to kind of see what's coming at you for the next week and what you're choosing to create for that week, decide what your most important outcome is for that week. This helps you feel like you're always progressing towards your goals and it keeps you focused. It gives you incredible clarity as you work on the tasks in your week. Then when things come up and people ask you to do things, have a safe fall in place. So I'm gonna give you three safe falls and then a, like kind of that are buffers and then my two favorite declines. So here's a safe fall. Don't carry a calendar. Like you have to check it before you give them an answer. So if you do carry your calendar, find something else, like a standard that you can kind of use that you need to check with first, blame your husband or whatever, but some sort of a standard that you can kind of check in with. You can use a teenage safe fall, your mother. I tell my daughter, like just to use the excuse, my mom would kill me. So you can still find a way to blame your mother. I'm sorry, mom. You could be having lunch with her, whatever. Be the toddler. A toddler's answer is instantly no. So is ours only we're just conditioned out of it. So your re first response to almost anything is, I would say should be a no. That's when your kids hound you, you say no, and then they hound you some more, and they hound you some more, and then it becomes a yes. So you see it play out there. But while I'm at the whole toddler scene, treat yourself like a toddler. Is it a good idea to take your toddler out when they're hungry, when they're sleepy? Okay, I get that you have to sometimes, but don't they function best when they feel good, when they're fed, when they're rested? So do you. Give yourself the buffer to think about the answer. This allows you to make a decision that feels right for you and it allows you to stay on track for the most important outcomes that you have already predetermined and decided for that week. And when you have a safe fall in place, you never feel like you're hit sideways and you just answered yes to something that's going to strap you for time or energy or make you feel frazzled and derail the most important things that you want or need to accomplish. So safe fall first and then have a decline ready. So grab a pen because you're gonna wanna write this down. Because have you noticed sometimes how hard it feels to say no to something or to someone like when they need you to? So just a tip, it will get easier, but be prepared. Memorize your favorite gracious no. And please do not lie and make something up because that's just ugly in and of itself. Honesty is always the best policy. So this is no without a reason. You do not have to give someone a reason that you can't do something. And please stop saying sorry when you do. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't make it. I'm sorry, I can't. So here are two declines. My fastest, easiest used and my favorites. I just don't have the broadband for that right now. Now Generation Z is only beginning to understand this as everyone suddenly is at home working on the internet. Not having the broadband? Yep, it's true. Number two, thank you so much for thinking of me while it's not something that I would like to do. Please know how honored I am to be asked. Do you feel the elegance there? While it's not something that I would like to do part, Sometimes that may not always apply because maybe it is something that you would like to do. So default to the broadband one. Or if it makes you feel like you are stepping on toes saying it. People will learn to sit Indian style, but this allows you to feel good with the things that you commit to. It removes that awkward no to whatever they need that they have. You don't necessarily have to be the one to fill it. And it allows you to fully show up when you do say yes. 
It will remove the sticky feeling of obligation to things that in your soul, in your inner wisdom, you knew was a no. Does this make sense? So know what your most important outcomes are for the week. Usually one most important. Know what those are. Have a safe fall in place and then like a buffer so that you cannot give an answer right away unless it's a hell yes. Decide your decline, what or how it feels best to you and in your honest soul, respectfully and honestly and unapologetically say no so that you don't feel like you're delivering substandard results on almost everything that you do because you are spread so thin. But even with these three things in place, if you are taking on too much and you're stuck in a productivity cycle, you're teetering close to burnout. So that's why you should grab my cheat sheet to understand and to stop the cycle of burnout. Click the link below or around this video. If you like this video, like it. Hit subscribe if you want. If you saw value, please share it with your friends. You can do that privately or publicly. If you missed either of these videos, you can check those out. Take care of you so that you can take care of everyone else. Bye for now.